Yo. All right, squad, man. Y'all know the name of your name, man. I said, what's good to Jake? Game, man. Y'all know the vibes. Like, subscribe. Y'all know I got another banger for y'all today, man. Now, I'm extra excited for this video, too, because y'all already know, man. When I put out another update for my wheel settings, man, I just love to see the feedback you guys give me. And honestly, you guys, I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all, okay? I'm going to keep it a whole hundred. These settings are so different. I'm going to show you guys how to actually properly set up your settings now that y'all see that I am actually on a actual sim rig instead of my uh, desk setup that I had. I am rocking the um, the uh, next level racing uh, FGT. If you guys haven't seen my video, go ahead and check it out. I did have a full setup update and a full tour of everything so you guys can see what I'm exactly I'm rocking with. But I did change the settings in the force feedback and how my pedals are set and how my uh, uh, seat is set things are feeling a lot different and they're actually feeling a lot more smoother and they're actually feeling more realistic i'm not even gonna lie to you guys man so i'm going to give you guys the best force feedback settings in 2023 for a set of corsa so let's go ahead and start it up now first things first man if you guys haven't man go ahead and get your g hub man if you aren't using g hub use lgs lgs is logitech gaming software if you are using one of those two you're good to go inside here you'll see how my wheel is set up i'm using full operation angle with 50 sensitivity which is exactly what you want centering spring strength is not there you really don't need that when you're drifting or actually the game the force feedback in game is actually really good without the center spring so don't worry about using that and then of course for the pedals too fully open everything works perfectly as y'all can see so we're going to go ahead and get out of that as y'all can see all those go ahead and copy down the settings in a set of course the baby this is where we got to go get the nitty gritty over here in the settings and of course y'all see right now we're going to controls right here in the set of course the settings of my cm if you guys aren't using content manager which is right here please go ahead and download content manager i do have a video out that shows you all of those steps as far as setting up content manager soul and csp you know what i'm saying so yeah in here you guys are going to see what my settings are at of course full operation angle one for the gamma scale all that you guys see it man i'm just going to go ahead and go down for y'all oh also too in the gas pedal y'all see we got five percent on that and we got 90 percent because now that i'm at an angle y'all see it's so much easier to boom full down boom and my toe is like pointed straight so you guys want to change that dead angle to where you see you know where your foot is pointed straight to the point where it's almost straining or it's actually like fully down that's where you want your dead zone to be so mine is five to ninety only reason it's five percent is because sometimes the dead zone tends to have a little open at the bottom so it seems like it's depressed or something like that but that's because a lot of tech pedals after a while they tend to go you know what i'm saying they tend to you know what i'm saying lose their forte but that's what all gaming stuff okay so we're not getting to that but let's keep it going of course my brake pedal we got that at 65 stopping at 65 percent my clutch is actually stopping at 35 but really and truly it depends on what i'm doing i really will just fully open it but normally i keep it at about 35 right now because i'm not using my mounted handbrake i'm actually have the handbrake mounted to the clutch pedal for my people who do not have a handbrake this actually works very well with drifting and with grip racing and cutting up so yeah go ahead and try this out i will leave a download down below so you guys can go ahead and take everything and just implement it but we're going to go ahead and go through it. i'm going to go to the main points okay the main points of course after setting up your shifter here and make sure you use the h shifter and of course combine with the keyboard you're going to go down down to where the headlights are make sure you activate the headlights the horn i activated that too and for the glance left glance right circle for the look back and triangle for the change camera because i'm an og and y'all know back in the need for speed days triangle was always look back circle was always change camera or vice versa so i did the same thing in this i ain't gonna lie to y'all but for my people who do have buttons on your steering wheel this is great for y'all to use as well for my people who don't of course you can use the keyboard and you can mount it over here to the right side and then let's go over here to system because we got two things this teleport back to pits and set up the pits please have one of these two if not both of them mounted somewhere easy for you to get to so you are not messing people up online okay you can just easily click the button go back to the setup okay but yeah after you do that i'm pretty sure we're good on this that is the main point for that okay 
patch we got about a couple main points here the first major one i want to touch on is right here the left turn signal right turn signal hazards and also for my low beams and high beams these um the uh, little dials that are on your steering wheel for people who use it and you hate that stupid dreaded presets menu that comes up i have a video especially for you on my channel already to get rid of the presets menu literally look it up it'll be right there for you if not go ahead and just i'll leave a link probably down below so you guys can go ahead and get that too but you can use these as far as to use for your lights and your arrows so you can actually drive a little more realistic you know what i'm saying you can use your dials and you can use your um blinkers i mean but you know it's just it makes it that much more fun and also going down to my windshield wipers i did actually activate this just recently so my negative sign is actually stop my wipers which is actually kind of cool to start my wipers i turn the dial on my wheel up and the turn it down i turn it down obviously you know what I'm saying? so yeah we're going over to the next one the next biggest thing i want to go over and patch extra option a through f for my people who want to use the neon lights pop-up hoods uh, uh different flares and different things that people put on the cars in order to make them have those crazy neon lights and y'all you know, know what i'm talking about man if y'all want all those extras like that people put on those cars activate them please use this right here my extra options is how you activate them i have them set up to my keyboard number zero through five so when you click zero through five on the keyboard it actually activates those extra options and it makes it that much cooler too okay so definitely that's one little tidbit for people who want to know how to use that and activate all those good stuff but yeah force feedback this is where we get a little tricky this is where we changed up okay i used to have my gain all the way up to 120 and that's because i sat up and i was on a desk which is actually this desk that's right here in front of me y'all if y'all don't know this is actually the desk that my old sim was mounted to but yeah i uh set it now to a hundred percent instead of 120 for a little bit more of a smoother more realistic feel with the filter at 10 percent and normally i'll keep the filter somewhere between five and ten percent nothing more nothing less uh for my curb effect right here two percent road effect two percent slip effect i took that off because it, it just reacts weird with my steering wheel so i took that off my abs is at two percent okay other than that i don't change anything else no lut none of that if you do want to use a lut that's in the pros processing right here and the enable force feedback pros processing and then you download the fut file and all that stuff and you implement it there but that's if you do use lt i don't use the lut so without being said let's go ahead and show you guys one more good thing because actually i gotta actually oh no 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 we gotta use the altezzi we got to use shout out to my boy who made this Alteza too. It's the True JG edition. And I will actually do a video with that. So you guys don't worry, okay? The download will be in a video coming really, really soon. So let's go ahead and dive in real quick because I'm going to show you guys the force feedback option that's in game that actually helps you with each individual car for my people who know from my OGs. If y'all know, then y'all already know, man. It's the force feedback controller, okay? Force feedback controller. Let's go back in there. Let's go ahead and load this up. Oh, load up my last bro stop playing with me come on there we go all right now since we in game and y'all hear that tezzy yes sir okay now <laughs> let's go over here the force feedback controller might be behind my camera but if it is behind my camera all you have to do is go over here to the right click where you see all apps right here if you need this menu to activate two guys that's over here you see how okay wait a second let's see if it goes away and then if you wanted to activate simply you just have to slide your cursor over there or click in that area and it will open up okay but with that being said, let's go ahead and open up our force feedback controller, which is right here. This is the symbol. Open that up. And then y'all see with this car, it's at 127. Now you can change this to adjust the force feedback for each individual car. For my people who do know, for my people who don't know, boom, boom, use this. This is an excellent tool. It'll help you guys too tenfold. I promise you to, to just, so you don't have to go back and keep adjusting your force feedback for every single car. Like you can just use this and it will save for that car specifically okay so with all that being said i love y'all i'm out this thing like and subscribe get a shirt we got tees on sale we got uh hoodies on sale that are coming too and we also got uh sweaters too so y'all go ahead you know what i'm saying copy a little style mob drip shout out to the gang man i love y'all i'm out this thing you feel me peace